Hello and welcome, I'm Chris and this is the Hair Tutorial Channel and on this week's video I'm going to be showing you the perfect placement for a guy's perm. It's a massive trend at the moment for guys to have the top of their hair permed and wear it all forwards and floppy. So a traditional nine section perm isn't always the best way to do it. I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to do this that's going to give you amazing results every time. And if you're new to the channel don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos. And if you're coming back it's lovely to see you. So let's just do it. Okay, so I've got my head block here and all I've very quickly done is I've cut the sides. So I've gone up the sides with a number four to just below the parietal ridge to the temples and then I've scissor over combed and then I've just tied it up around the hairline. So I haven't cut the top at all, so we've got a disconnected top and I'll cut that after I've put the perm in. Obviously, because it's gonna take off any of those ends that we need to take off, but also as well, this will just help with connecting it in after the perm and you'll get a much better lay to the haircut. So we're gonna start on the crown area and I'll show you how I'm gonna put my rods in. Now, rod size obviously again is dependent on the size of the curl that you want to achieve. I'm gonna be going for gray and black. I just want a nice, soft, natural curl to the hair, but you can adapt the curl size the rod size to whatever you need to and whatever the length of the hair is on top. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the crown area and this is the first area we're gonna put our rollers in and in which direction the crown grows. Now, if you wanted more volume, you could go against the growth of the crown. However, I'm gonna work with the growth of the crown here. So I'm gonna section off the front and get rid of that for now. And I'm just gonna be working on my crown area. And we're gonna be working in triangular sections. It doesn't really matter where you go, so I have a crown that's in the center there. So I'm gonna take my first section in a triangular section, and I'm gonna be working around the head in this pattern, taking triangles or cake slices, if you want to call it, all the way around with the pattern of the crown. Now, the other thing that I'm also gonna be doing is I'm gonna be alternating the size of my rod. So I'm gonna be doing a gray, black, gray, black, gray, black, gray, black, all the way around as well. Again, just to give some difference and some texture in the size of the curl. Now we move to the front of the head and we're going to take a section on the left and right and wind our sections down towards the ear. Alternate colours, so we're going to switch back to our black, winding the opposite way. And again to our grey, alternating the direction that I'm winding. Now the same on the other side. Okay, so we have our final section in the middle, which we're gonna put, obviously, our black rod into. So we can put some perm sticks in there if we want to, and then obviously we're gonna add our perm lotion. Okay, so we've wound our perm nice and quick, nice and simple, not too many rods, gonna give a nice effect, and it's laying in the way that they're gonna wear the haircut. So perm-wise, I'm gonna use my Perfect Carl by ASP, and the reason I use this is it's one perm for every hair type, and you simply alter the timing process for whether it's normal, resistant or tinted hair. And it means that I'm covered for all of my bases by just carrying one perm. So for me, it's convenience, but they do do a lot of other perms, which are very good. They all contain cystamine, which is really good for the hair. And they're an acid alkaline perm as well. So I'm just gonna add my perm solution. And then obviously we're going to process, then we're gonna rinse, neutralize, take the rollers out and show you the result. Okay, so as you can see, here's our finished result. And what an amazing result we have because we've directed the rollers in the natural lie of the crown and also in the direction that they're gonna wear it. Now, this doesn't mean that, of course, you can't push that front up. In fact, you get a nice lot of volume because you're going 
against the way that you put the rollers in. And I've just very lightly dusted it off just to connect it, although it is very slightly disconnected. But again, with this style of haircut, you can get away with it. I've just put some curl cream in and then I've just diffused dried it. And don't forget, if you're getting value out this video to like, subscribe and hit the notification button, this channel isn't sponsored and it really does help the channel to grow. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.